uh, I'll go ahead and uh, play commercial. Getting uh, set up for Street Fighter oh, Cross Mega oh, with uh, the Dark Man here. Uh, while we're going, I'm going to read off some of the uh, challenges that we have coming up soon. On uh, for Art World Stranger's Wrath, we have the uh, Lovart Dam Skip, and uh, we're gonna, so here we're just a few dollars away from that. So we want to donate toward that so we can get that going. Um, oh, it looks like I just did a thing. We just. Uh, Make that so. We also have uh, the uh, glitched run on Diddy Kong Racing that's been met. Um, Double Dragon 2, the uh, ultra secret donation incentive has been met. Um, wow, you guys are amazing. We're getting so many things here. The next thing we got here is uh, uh, Soten Richter Any Percent. It happens after a Super Dodgeball. That's at $310 at the moment and it needs to be reach 500 for a Mecha Richter to do that. Alright, for uh, choices, uh, we have a Rosenkritztel at uh, Froden Stachel. Uh, whether or not you're doing <laughs> Froden Stachel or Rosenkritztel uh, right now for Froden Stachel, we've got $165.19 and for Rosenkritztel Oh, I, that might. Let me refresh that to let you guys know if that's changed any. It has. Okay, so Frozen Stash is now 208. Okay, why don't you put this on you? And Rosen is 151. I'm coughing a lot, so I don't want to. We also have costume colors for Super House of uh, Dead Ninjas. We have Yay, Hot Pink, and Pepsi Man. Hot Pink is uh, in the lead at 31.21, $31.21, and Pepsi Man has $6. Yay has uh, yet to get one. I'm good. How's the level for me? Sounds pretty good. good. Doing yeah, a quick test. Good. All right. All right. Uh, three, two, one, go. All right. So my name is the Dark Man Seventy Eight. This is Street Fighter X Mega Man, and I will hopefully show you a good one of this. So this was a fan game uh, that was announced, kind of, or well, it was kind of picked up uh, during Evo 2012, I believe. Um, a sole developer had, had like made half the game, and uh, I think did Capcom approach him, or did he approach Capcom? Because they were actually present at the event. I'm not sure. Okay, so one one of the one of the two actually happened, and there was a conversation, and they ended up kind of picking it up for an official release because Capcom didn't really do anything for Mega Man for his 25th. They figured this was a nice cop out. So shout out to 30,000 people that just heard that. <laughs> Capcom, hopefully you're listening. Try harder. <laughs> Uh, but still, it's actually a pretty decent game for a fan game. Um, it's an excellent speed game, actually. Um, there's a lot of interesting stuff you can do. Um, but to get right into it, um, we start with Blanca stage. Because um, it's... Buster strats aren't that, uh, I guess, diminishing compared to a lot of the other stages. You can go through it pretty quickly. And more importantly, uh, killing Blanca gets you the melon. Is that the official name? The melon? Okay. The melon. I'll stick with that. So it's it's the resonant speed weapon of this Mega Man game. Um, helps you go through a lot of the stages pretty quickly, and is pretty powerful against a lot of the bosses. Now, Duckfist, when uh, you did uh, Rock on Ice Affinity, it was kind of based on Mega Man for right. Mega Man. Like, what is this Mega Man based on? It's more original. It's it, it is a Mega Man game, but 
it is Street Fighter Cross Mega Man, so it's all about Street Fighter references. All of the bosses are uh, playable characters in Street Fighter games, from what I understand. This is the 1.0 version of the game. Uh, the reason why we use 1.0 is because there are a few spots where there are glitching tanks. You will see what I mean. They just look totally out of place, mm -hmm. and yeah, they're beneficial. So, so nice kill. There's no damage, right? But uh, oh yeah, we forgot to explain. Um, as you may have seen, like right next to um, the my health bar, you see a super um, a super bar for each um, boss. So yeah, when that fills up, they can perform a super attack, which you don't see in any other Mega Man. Yeah, and super when a blanket does super attacks, it does slow slow down the the, the battle a little bit. Um, what determines filling up that super bar? Uh, when he gets hit. When he gets hit. Okay, so it's pretty much inevitable. It looks like, um, but still, it's a really fast buster kill. He's weak against uh, Dalsim's fire, I believe, uh, by default. Yeah. Uh, normally, I do go pretty fast in the uh, s uh, selecting the boss, but since I can't actually reset the game, or, and there's no password system in this version, I don't want to make sure I mess up because that's at least two to three minutes of wasted time. So I just go slow. This game is kind of weird to practice because, again, there's no reset button, there's no password system in version 1, so you kind of just have to like find a place you want to practice and get up to it. Yeah, <laughs> and doing RTA attempts, you're already dealing with an auto-scroller shmup stage uh, like two minutes in, so... Yeah. But still, Rose's stage is kind of neat. There's some interesting uh, melon stuff all like right off the bat, and of course Rose is weak against melon. So yeah, they're calling us all fools here, so whatever. Yeah, yeah I, I noticed that. <laughs> So Use these your, are like, uh, melonades. I guess they're tarot cards or I, something yeah, like that. They're funny purple things. That's what I. Oh, there you go. Yeah, because one of the tarot cards is a fool. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, that makes sense. I still think it's mocking us. So the platforming section of the stage is much more interesting. Um, yes. This this game has the potential for a lot of cool speed strats. So back when it came out. Uh, this was notorious for having a massive race on speedrunslive.com. Um, there was like 60 people that entered. So I want to show you the difference between the Buster and the Pellets. So you see the Buster, I killed it in one hit. Look at this with Pellets. This is ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the damage scales differently for enemies. Um, you know, against bosses, it's not that significant, um, like it was demonstrated there. So yeah, that's the watermelon. Yep, those are the melon strats. Allows for some nice uh, high jumping. There is no rush coil or rush anything in this game, so that kind of substitutes for that. How strong is the melon? Not useful against any enemies, except for the bosses that it's uh, strong against. Yeah, these swords are a little bit tricky. And they do a lot of damage. Just kind of bounce a couple of times and then go at your horizontal position. So here's a nice trick. So one of the few Mega Man games, or maybe the only one, where you don't need to be on a ladder to scroll horizontally. He just melons up, and as long as he's intersecting the ladder, it allows him to transition like that. And there's a small glitch. If you're, if you're off position and you're not touching the ladder, you can actually go off the screen and fall off the edge and die. A little strange. So here, Rose likes to go and rat at, like, when she has a teleport move, and she kind of follows you around. So we're going to abuse that and just let her body us because we're able to kill her really fast this way. Yet another strat I wasn't aware of when I played this, but... Oh, she's dead. Yes. Very close. And I'm going to put a melon here, because I can. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me read a donation off here. We got uh, $20 from uh, Emiliano Garcia. Uh, hey guys, just want to say how awesome this marathon is. Hope a lot of money is raised for Doctors Without Borders. We hope so, too. Uh, $10 from Justin Marquis. Donating a late fee for waiting till the last minute to submit my paintings for tomorrow's prizes. Hey, I'm an artist. I get to take my time at this stuff. You're the ones who have to run everywhere. <laughs> so this weapon is kind of a shield weapon, but it's not very useful in protecting you. It just kind of does damage. And of course, it's strong against Rolento and uh, Melon and... I don't know, what was that weapon called? The, she the shield. Soul Satellite. Soul yeah. Satellite. I are... don't even know the names. This is also kind of an interesting speed Melon stage. Tropical has. Soul we'll satellite. go with melon. <laughs> yeah, it's the melon. Soul satellite's one Anybody who says otherwise is not right. Soul satellite's one of the. Oh, I love this music. It's So, this is a PC only game, and before anybody asks, uh, the Darkman is playing with a Super Nintendo controller. Good choice. Oh, nice strat. Okay. Yeah. I had one like that, but it was much slower. Yeah, that's right. So, when we found out you could uh, 
use melon to do all sorts of crazy stuff. Cool Kid came up with all sorts of ridiculous oh, yeah. melon jumps. Yeah, and... Cool Kid did a lot of the early ratting, so shout out to Cool Kid. Yeah, yeah, I stole a lot of his rats. Also, I want to make a big shout out and thanks to Hexman. Um, so, when I came here, for some reason, my SNES adapter was not recognized on this PC, so I've been borrowing Hexman for the entire like, marathon, so that's a big thanks to him. Hex, Hexman doing uh, Rosenkreuz Stiletta uh, coming up next, I believe. Gosh. So yeah, the thing about this weakness is it's not the pellets that I can fire here, it's actually the um, shield itself. Yeah, so. the, the pellets only do regular buster damage against pretty much anything. So basically you have to take a lot of damage. I'd be remiss to say that uh, that uh, weapon that you use is what a melon. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna call serious time for this first part of Urian stage because it's a very timing-based thing. If I get out of my timing, I basically don't. Yeah, it's just some. It's just a bunch of slide jumps, yeah. but I mean, you guys just have to time uh, the number of slides that you do, and it is pretty tricky. So, best of luck. Thank you. We do have a dollar donation from Jack Meesbert, uh shouting out UA on his Tower Heaven run. All right, here we go. All right, serious time. Very nice. And still serious time a little bit. Okay. There you go. Nice. That's a nice clever strat here by taking damage. You can walk on these spikes. And skip these nice falling falling pillars. A nice little uh, Mega Man style mechanic they introduced. I really enjoy the stage. It's got pretty cool music. Uh, it, was, it, was, it was fun to, to route and learn, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and we have the, the fence, I guess, is another nice uh, new mechanic in the game. Yes. Is the sliding on platforms versus jumping off them or falling off them mechanic the same as in the rest of the original mechanics? I believe so, yeah. You can. Slide distance seems to be comparable to like Mega Man 4, and you can gain more distance by sliding to the edge and jumping off of the platform. So. Oh my god. Little low HP, yeah. Yeah. Because I have to basically get hit. Yeah. Good luck. Alright. Oh wow. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was close. Yeah. That's I don't wanna die there, but it's not the worst thing in the world. Some buster strats. Not not too hard of a pattern to learn, but yeah, this will slow it down quite a bit. Oh, it refills your weapon energy. Yes, it does. Okay, I never mind. I forgot to explain that. So, yeah, when you die, all your weapon energy is refilled. So using the grenade against Urian like that, um, it's a little bit glitchy, so you can just kind of get up in his face and spam it, and it does way more damage than it should, like with a normal invulnerability period. So the point-blank grenade spam is definitely the, the way to go on that boss. So we have Ryu coming up, uh, some really interesting melon, melon strats throughout the entire stage. Uh, sadly, the Aegis Reflector is not that useful of a weapon. Pretty much just against bosses is where you're going to see it. A couple of small spots throughout the run, though. Um, uh, these melon jumps are pretty interesting. Hopefully I don't screw up. By the way, I'm sitting here just rocking out to the music right now. It's, it's a pretty solid soundtrack, yeah, I agree. Yeah, the all of them sound like they're going to be like Mega Man 2 or 3 yep. and Yeah, it's, it's really good music. Mm -hmm. The number of 502 donations has increased dramatically. <laughs> well, thank you, 502. Shout out to the 502. So there's a small branching path in that stage, taking that upper path gets him an extra E tank and is a little a uh, little easier to go through. And faster, of course. The funny thing about that is I didn't know the lower platform existed until like maybe a month ago. <laughs> I was like, what? This is oh, <laughs> you just slide jump <laughs> yeah, across it every time. I just assumed that was a pit. <laughs> I don't remember what it looks like, yeah. I yeah, it's kinda silly. <laughs> that was a nice damage booster. 
Another interesting uh, melon through a vertical screen transition there. And we're coming up to the Ryu fight, which is normally really hard. It's one of the hardest fights, but... I would, honestly, he can be harder than Vega, and that's same. Yeah. Like that. it, the boss fights in this game are very dynamic. Like, they have a lot of patterns, and they can be very unpredictable. Oh, man. He's just sat there invulnerable. Yeah. So, yeah, I expect to E-Tank there most of the time. Sometimes I don't, but it's not a big deal if I E-Tank there. So yeah, Ryu is vulnerable both to using the Aegis Reflector to reflect his Hadokens, but it's really unreliable because he can go for long periods of time uh, not actually Hadokening. But luckily, Melon does the trick too, and that nice little strat of just kind of standing against the wall can manipulate him like that. Yeah, Aegis Reflector is technically his weakness, but Watermelon is really his weakness. Okay. <laughs> like, I don't know. Yeah, if you don't know about Watermelon, you're kind of screwed for that yeah. fight. We do have uh, $5 from Jesse Tanner. Hey all, wanted to add another donation for the great work you guys do. Put this toward fighting Neo X Death in Final Fantasy V. Keep up and shout out to the Sinister One, Puexo, BJ De Caesar, Funk Dot, Trihex, and Feasel. Thank you. And yeah, Puexo is the only one in the room. The yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, I'll tell Sinister. So yeah, for some reason the stage gives me problems, and it's a really simple stage, but I don't know. Yeah, it's not complicated at all. It's just like, it's all just horizontal rooms. Um, yeah, yeah, that's the first part. Yeah, yeah, that, it's hard to get to that middle platform sometimes. Uh, yeah. Go on, wait. Yeah, that's a really difficult jump to make. That was too bad, really. Sometimes it could take me forever to get back up. Yeah, so these samurai just kind of, uh, they're, they, once they appear, they stand around for a couple of seconds, they teleport above you and just, just uh, fall down. Kind of annoying. It's, it's really an annoying stage to play, sadly. <coughs> yeah, like, oh, okay. But yeah, there's, there's, there's very little. Like, if you were to die in the stage, this is pretty bad. Yeah, luckily, the, the boss fight is also extremely easy, and the gratuitous sweat, uh, energy refill. Um, just going to make sure you hit it. Perfect. Yeah, so there's a bonus final boss in the game. After you beat the regular final boss, you go to a true final boss, but only if you get three perfects uh, throughout the run. And a perfect is just defeating a boss while you have full health. And you can't game over. Okay, you can't game over. Yes. Okay, interesting. Didn't know that. I can't remember the last time I game over, so. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we have a very right. important $10 from a Mr. Tim Cutler. Hey, Looks hey, like. Dad. Hey. Looks like I better donate fast or this game will be over. Dad. <laughs> it's probably over by the time you finish writing that comment. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so if you want to explain about the short combo. Okay, so C Viper Stage is, is a really cool stage of speedrun. So there's these elevators. When you enter a room, the elevators start in a fixed position. And it's possible to go through the room, the, if you go through the room the fastest, you can catch the elevators at the optimal time. So, sadly, having gotten hit there, he's going to miss the cycle on this first elevator. It's, it's probably, the, probably the hardest part of the stage uh, to do correctly, at least. It's probably the hardest trick in the game for me to do. It's just you, you just have to have perfect slides and you know, switch to Hadouken and be able to shoot that first turret. Another interesting trick coming up here, if you can land it. Uh, best of luck here. It looks very smooth. Oh, got it. Okay, nice. so that was very nice. I can't believe I overshot that. It's okay. You can make all the mistakes you want now, because that was awesome. <laughs> hey, we got one more to make us awesome. So a nice section with these instant kill beams. Uh, as long as you, as long as you go fast, which isn't a problem for the Dark Man here, uh, you won't get hit. So that was a really interesting strat by damage boosting. You were able to pass that um, that projectile in the air. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't blame you here. So there's uh, another early elevator trick coming coming up that the Dark Man's going to set up. Nice. Ooh, nice. And there you go. So by kind of damage boosting off of that one guy entering the screen and sliding through that, I guess it's a Sniper Joe, he can catch that elevator early.
voice. Uh, so also, I do a lot of positioning um, when I finish with a boss because if you don't position yourself, he walks all the way to the middle. So. Right, right. Classic, Save. classic Mega Man yeah. time saver. Hmm. All right, fifteen dollars from Michael Smith. Uh, love the marathons. Unfortunately, I work too much to catch all of it, but love it. You do, and uh, lo love what you guys do. Keep it up. Uh, apologize in advance if you hear me coughing. A uh, hundred dollars from uh, Nate Winning. I uh, recently started watching speedruns, and I love seeing my favorite childhood games played incredibly well. Here's a donation to one of my favorites, Super Metroid 100%. Going into the all scene stage, it's the notorious go left at the beginning. I don't know what they were thinking. Mm -hmm. I love it. But luckily, the arrow in the background helps you out. If I remember you saying, Duffrick, you said, I saw the arrow, but I wanted to go right anyway just to see what was there. Oh, okay. Because I think you were like, use pizza. <laughs> Um, I, I bet you we both did, but I, I definitely did that, and there's nothing there except for like, there's like an energy yeah, refill, and like, why do you even need it when you just started the stage? <laughs> it's just, I don't know. But, yeah, this is a really fun stage to, to speed through. There's a lot of really cool uh, melon strats. So if there weren't melon, this game would probably be really yeah. uninteresting to speedrun. Yeah, this section is a real pain. Was that the boss door that you <laughs> saw on that previous Yes. Yes, that was. Yeah. A little bit of a tease. <laughs> I am trying to rack my brain for as many melon puns as I can come up with. <laughs> oh, it's tough. It's tough. I got watermelon. <laughs> Try melonaise. No, that, that's I can't. Well, melon can refer to head, so somebody else come up with something. That's all I got. That's <laughs> good. Uh, yeah, that kind of sucks because he's forced to take damage on this next room. I will probably force myself to get the glitchy tank. Sometimes I don't. Yeah. So yeah, you'll see this glitchy tank here. You'll be like, what? <laughs> yeah. It, does it appear all the time? I think like it's sometimes. Not all the time. Yeah. But there it is. It's pretty common. So this is the cool kid strat right here. I'm just gonna call it that. Okay. Or I can not get it at all. There it oh, is. Nice. All right. Last all right. One. That's clutch right there. Yeah, just wasted a bunch of time, but whatever. You got it. You go. Oh yeah. Really? These patterns are horrible. Where's the fire? There's no fire yet. Okay. <laughs> there you go. So the optic blast uh, pierces right through that. All right, we got. Uh, just, just don't get it perfect on Vega. A whole bunch of, uh, <laughs> like uh, Kiri mentioned, uh, 502 uh, shoutouts. You want me to start running through those for you? Sure. Ten dollars, Matthew Chambers. Hey, Dark Man, Repic from the 502 crew checking in. Looking good today. Uh, Fifteen oh two from Andrew Entrican. 502 is with you, Dark Man. Put this tour Coco and Crash Team Racing. Cutest character for the cutest nut. Five oh two from Reese Davies. Shout out to Dark Man and the other 502 runners. Uh, David Beg Be Behe. Uh, shout out to the Dark Man and the rest of the 502. I love all you guys and everyone helping out with this great event for a great cause. So I'll let you resume in a second. Just a quick explanation to this boring auto scroller stage. You just it's it, an auto -scroller. yeah, you just have to make sure you don't get touched by this guy, and that's it. The only optimization is to not get hit and not have to pick up weapon or health. That's it. Going go yep. uh, 502 from uh, Steven uh, Jazuski. Loving the melon strap. Shout out to the 502 crew. E tank, man. <laughs> I love it. And there we go for the 502 shout outs that I have right now. Okay, 502 from Daniel Heredia. 50, uh, this runs from Magnet Man to the 502. Thank Yeah, but I mean, like I said, <laughs> Vega. The boss rush, I can like. Oh, the boss rush. Okay, didn't think about that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, if he accidentally perfects, then he's stuck fighting um, the, the secret <laughs> final boss. Yeah. Because I have never faced the secret boss. Yeah, actually, me neither. <laughs> so do your best to do badly. <laughs> Yeah, sadly, there's no perfect strats for this section. You you are forced to slow down to get by some of these guys. That 
it's still kind of a kind of a fun speed stage, at least the first section, and awesome music. So the main reason this game is so short is just the bison stages. There's really not much to them. I mean, there's only a couple of them, and they're very short. Um, but the whole thing about this stage is the boss fight. Um, notorious for just taking down new players. Vega is extremely difficult. Yeah. We're running toward the end of the uh, Mega Man block here. Um, we've got uh, four different uh, prizes here that you can donate for. We have some Mega Man buttons, some uh, Mega Man cross stitch, figurines, and a Mega Man tribute poster. Um, to get into the buttons, you need to donate $5 uh, for the cross stitch 10, figurines 10, and the uh, tribute poster 20. Vegas pattern is really hard to get down, pretty difficult. An E-tankless Vega fight is like a rite of passage into <laughs> into being a Mega Man god. It's incredibly hard to do. There it is. Oh, what, what am I doing? <laughs> oh. <laughs> The complete opposite. Well, of that this. was silly. <laughs> We're just gonna walk all the way. Like, back. yeah. So this demonstrates why you go, you stand in the middle. There you go. And we're already at the basically the final stage of uh, boss re fights. And so the dark man has to make sure that he ends each boss fight with less than full health, or else uh, that'll be the third perfect, and we'll be stuck fighting. Um, Taking damage was no problem in that fight. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess there's a higher chance it could go wrong, but... So there was a big problem in the blind races, I remember. No one really knew about uh, getting weapon energy, or getting about getting health after these boss fights, but by destroying that kind of ornament in the middle after each boss fight, uh, that reveals the health drop. Did you know? I didn't know. Oh. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe I was spoiled? I can't remember. Maybe I was spoiled about it. <laughs> so yeah, that was another glitchy tank there. As you can see, that's not supposed to be. So Dalsim's weapon, pretty useless in the speed run normally because it forces you to stand still. Just use it for the boss weakness. Sure, you took that hit there. Yeah, no, she's definitely that hit. <laughs> Alright, we got uh, $15 from uh, Andre Kios. Uh, hey guys, just woke up and you're still there. Uh, we're gonna be here for quite a while yet. So. Uh, amazing work. EK Power, which is the lot of luck in the world. $25 from Robin Rand, MSF, uh, Dr. Buttborder. It's truly a world doing class. great things throughout the world. Much appreciated. Much Don't appreciated. Don't shoot him. Oh, shit. I forgot. Oh, For man. For the well, uh, players in the great runs, Frank or Z. Oh, did you just perfect? It, it's, it's so now that he's gotten three perfects, to avoid having to fight the true final boss, he's going to purposely game over. And I have to do refights again with zero E tanks. In fact, I don't even know if I can. I can't do it, actually. It's just going to be so comfortable. Yeah, you can. You'll have lives, you can just die, and uh, if you have to, and try it again. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, uh, well, D uh, while we set up, uh, <laughs> while Darkman sets up uh, the rest of the game here, I think you have plenty of time to go through some comments. Yeah, go for it. Twenty dollars from Reese, uh, Reese, War Tenby. Uh, that idiot you hate, that idiot you hate, Reese. <laughs> You're shelling out $20 for the good cause for helping those who help others. I apologize for this long comment. Here's to our transforming Bart into the piano butts master. 
10 for Butt's file name and 10 for Piano Master. Duck Fist, you and Sneak Ninja are my heroes for your mind breaking Mega Man spills. Also, for whenever Ascensia returns, will you be training your young guns in your speedrunning craft? Well, um, she basically has already gone into uh, teaching your kids how to speedrun. Uh, actually, uh, Duckfest will like this, and he knows about it. Uh, her oldest is really enjoying Mega Man. Both of them, actually, her two oldest, are really enjoying Mega Man at the moment. Nice. Keep watching. Mega Man is some good stuff. Um, sadly, this is the end of the Mega Man block, but there's still plenty of good games uh, to come. <laughs> That's alright, man. You already showcased uh, what the speedrun is like and a lot of interesting strats throughout all the stages. Boss fights are pretty much just like... You know, it didn't go bad. You're doing... You're having to do something for playing too well. Yeah, yeah, no. It's all the, what, what's with all the perfects? Man? Yeah. I'm so bad. More perfects in a row. Alright, I'm going to try to do this uh, comment properly since it's from the Seawolf1. Uh, hey, oh, my one and only donation to this marathon, sadly. Everyone enjoy the marathon talk, fast, play hard. Yeah, thanks, Seawolf. Appreciate it. Love you. Too bad you're not here for me to beat you in poker. <laughs> Alright. You could just keep doing that because it is Ryu. Oh. <laughs> yes. yes, double KOs are a thing in this game. Wow. Yes. That's the melon strip. Alright, $50 from Dale West. Hey, I wish I could watch more of the marathon, but for whatever reason, my little Canadian town house, the worst ledge is Evels Presley Tribute Compo. Ooh, a competition, okay. so I'm too busy yeah, at work anyway. Hit, though, no. If I can, let go no, and decide where this money goes. Yeah, He's been doing some quality you streaming lately. Like, like, keep it up, guys. Okay, okay by touching him, maybe does more, yeah. Uh, 502 from uh, Dean uh, Laguinier. Sly Martha again. Loving the uh, uh, Street Fighter Cross Mega Man run. And of course, shout outs to 502. Also playing towards saving the animal. Uh, Nick Marcelli, 2502. Uh, Massarelli, sorry. I just got home in time to catch the tail end of the Mega Man block. Shout out to the 502 crew and Duckfist. Uh, Shout out. Mashiter. Uh, Mashister? Yeah. Oh, Mashister. What's up, $5 from Justin Cuts for putting random watermelons after boss battle. And you get a choice on that one. Oh, me? Oh, I already it's uh, Pretty sure the melon after boss battle was was that in Hoda Ruby's like first god run of this game, where he just kind of screws around with that. He always melons after a boss, I thought. All right, ten dollars from Justin uh, Tonarelli. Okay. Enjoying the runs, a great cause. Akuma slaughter. <laughs> I wish. It would have been funny actually. I was con debating whether I should just do it. Just do, a, do a blind Akuma fight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That would have been interesting. I, I just remember seeing people spend a lot of time on that fight, so... Oh, uh, really? Supposedly Ten, really uh, difficult, yeah. $10 from Clifford Palmer? With the Mega Man cross-stitch on the line, I just had to donate for a chance. I mean, the chances are tiny at best, but it's for a good cause as well, right? This $10 can go towards anything in particular. Don't know who to give it to, so just whoever calls dibs first, I guess, dibs. Sorry if this is annoying. Dibs. Do you know what you call dibs on? Nope. Okay. <laughs> I did that, so. Okay, well, nice, nice. Dibs. Yeah, I thought I did too, but I guess the host doesn't get. And then uh, five dollars from Sadib Khan. Uh, hey guys, long time viewer, first time donor. Hopefully I win a prize. Well, you are entered into winning one for sure. So yeah, uh, since you know the Dark Man had already used all of his E tanks, he's having to do this uh, without any. But. Uh, but you do, you do have uh, two extra lives, and dying doesn't make you redo the entire stage. I don't have two extra lives, I just one. That's the one? Okay. Alright. Got full health for this fight. Oh, yeah. Thanks for if you want to uh, plug us during the marathon on Twitter, go ahead and use hashtag SEDQ2013. Oh, yeah. Man. 
the other year, I want to remind you of one of the rules and points of that. Right? Challenge. Oh, uh, there yeah. A choice, yeah. There's a choice for that. I mentioned it a little bit earlier, but I can go back to it. Uh, on on who to use. Um, I want uh, Froden Stashel did have a slight lead, but let's see where we're at now. That does it for Bison Three. We're going to Ooh, well, final boss fight now. It looks like RKS is ahead now. Yeah, it's gotten really close. We got Froden Stashel with 20856. And uh, Rosen could still at, at 20101, so that's really close. You can easily take that. Bison isn't too difficult of a boss. Uh, it's nice to have an E-Tank for the fight, though. Um, he's weak against the Sea Laser, and also Hadoken does decent damage once you run out. Ride him with Bison Bucks. Uh, also, you can time after him. He's dead. You didn't get any perfects before, did you? No. Okay, good. <laughs> what happens if you perfects him? No, it doesn't matter. It would have happened. And... No. Time. 32-43. All considering... Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> so. And, uh... Your, twi uh, your Twitch is, you know, just a dark man. Yeah, THA. Yeah. Should, should be on the stream right now. All right. Uh, nice job, the dark man. No, we got to see. We got to see what was good about the run, though. So, I, since I know the stream loves it, that three perfects has never happened before. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Marathon luck. Yeah. We love it. I did too well. You did too well. Yeah, I did amazing. too well. <laughs> All right, and Shout out to coming yeah, up next is too. indeed. Uh, I've been saying this more than anybody, I think. Rosen Kritzstelatz, Froden Stachel. Is that? Am I saying that correctly? Oh, it's German. It's German. Well, I hope my German ancestry helps me with that. Yeah, it sounds like it. S T is a shtick. Yeah, Rosen So it actually looks like RKS went ahead. Oh no, well they're really close. Yeah, they're really close. I've got it. I'm doing to do another refresh right here and see where we're at. Uh, Rosen Kritzstelatz is ahead by about twelve and a half dollars. How long? I think we gotta kind of cut it off though. Okay. Okay, do a quick one. Rosen yeah, Kutzula yeah. is net versus Frank so Stasha. Yeah, they're on my watch. Wait, so we'll, we'll, we'll try to get five bucks. All right, while uh, we set up for this next game, I'm going to uh, play commercial. Five. Okay, so, wait, he's getting five bucks. All right, so if he's getting five bucks, so we should probably wait a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so currently it's with uh, Rosenquist versus Marshall. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Kira's just practice. Yeah, Kira's just like to get it down. It's all right. I have another block anyway. You can go ahead. I have the upside. Do I need, is my vibe in there or do I need to put another vibe? You don't need to anymore. Okay. I'm going to refresh when oh, we get done with oh. the commercial. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Credits <laughs> are technically over. The credits are over. All right, and Office we're back crazy. here, and you know, there we're is. actually having some last minute sniping of uh, character choice here. It's actually game choice. A game choice, <laughs> my mistake. Like I so know this game. All right. What's the lead? It's 223.56 for Freud and Satchel to 221 and 1 cent. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What is this for? Uh, this is for Freud and Satchel. Okay, well, that, it's already. already yeah. Yeah. No, well, I need to. Well, I want to find Freud's anyways. Okay. Careful, <laughs> well, there it is. is. All All right. Right. Oh, darn, I'm donating. The, the, oh, boy. the double tap snipe. <laughs> gotta make sure. Make sure it's dead. I disagree with this. Time Great. for Roy's and Crow. Oh my god. Oh, 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 step up, step up. Step up. Shots step fired. Up. Shots fired. Okay, nothing. RKS is ahead. Yeah, we are. Step up, guys. RKS is ahead. We're, 
Go in once. How, how much? <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're really hey, going to be out of this. I just want to say, shout out to the 502. There's $5.02. <laughs> 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 just, for just anything. Just anything? Throw no, money at you, you're a day. You guys got to stick around because I need your names. Okay, so, I got you. Um, but that's, that's going to go to Link to the Past file name. So this was yours, right? Yeah, please. All right, while they're sorting out the actual cash, be, uh, which so game we're actually going difference. through okay, here, so uh, by we are three, Speed Demos Archive. This is three, Summer Game Study for 2013. Yes. And uh, ah, our charity of so choice this particular <laughs> marathon <laughs> is Doctors <laughs> Without Borders. Uh, like I said before, I have German ancestry, so I can't do the friends very well, but I'll try anyway. Uh, Medicine sans frontières. Uh, our re French race team probably hates me right now. But, uh, uh, Doctors Without Borders, uh, I see some of the things they've done in the past year. Uh, in 2012, they had. Uh, they existed in 61,000 relief kits they distributed. Um, 3,400 people were treated for meningitis last year. Uh, 109, 197 million liters of water were distributed by a So, it's a really good charity to vote for, uh, to vote for, to donate for. Um, let's see here. Some of the things they make a difference. Okay, ten dollars can purchase forty-five emergency food rations for use in a crisis or natural disaster. On the flip end here, twenty thousand dollars can purchase two inflatable boats with outboard engines used to transport patients during floods or emergency evacuations. So they do tons of different things, all in the names of helping people. So are we are start still getting set up for uh, which one? Are, which one got chosen okay, anyway? Okay, so there was an intense. Bidding war back here. <laughs> <I knew laughs> cash was being thrown around yeah, here. I was cheating. But the 502 crew stepped up and they got Rosenkreutz to let in. RKS, so that's yes. what we're doing. What was do we have a final total? Um okay, if I gotta add it up here, we got um fifteen and then six oh two and five oh two. I don't know what that is. Is that uh, 26? 26. No, 26 Take out the 26 it's for the, it's 26 for something else. Okay, so that brings that up to about 250. And we had 10 over here for install, so that's 238. Darn it. All right. So. <laughs> Just because he wouldn't break my 50. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably be putting that 50 in later. I'll start with all right, so go ahead and, and tell us what, because uh, there's some of us in the streaming room right now that are not exactly sure what this game is. Okay. It could be the one speaking or not, we're not sure, but yeah, <laughs> go ahead and uh, inform us all if you would please. All right, so uh, Resident Christ the Net is a Dojin game that's a Mega Man clone, and it has some really good music, and has lots of homages to other games, be it Toho, Mega Man, Castlevania, Several different things. And also, I brought Fordia here to help commentate with me. So, uh, she'll be lots of help, I'm sure. <laughs> and, yeah. How long, uh, how long is this game's uh, uh, speed run of it? Um, like, high levels, like, under 35 minutes. So. What's the history of speed running this? Uh, so the history started off with, um, I'm not sure, <laughs> I know a lot of people did start to speedrun it, like, um, 072, um, Crimmy Doodle, Scent, they all started running it and did some things and then it just died down, okay. and then, um, Rosenkreis at Freudenstock was released and that brought everyone back into it, and then... I was introduced from that game into this game. Okay. Um, we're just about getting ready to start. Um, I'll look over here and... Uh, oh, we want to get that off the so. uh, any? Uh, do we need to wait for a timer or are we good to go? Are, are we going to start up a timer for this? Yeah. Okay. I'm just ready to go. Hopefully, just trying to adjust how fast. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, hold on. In just one second, we'll get uh, started. <laughs> All right, well, we're doing one, one last adjustment here. Um, let's see. 
I, w I like to uh, plug the Yeti because there's such a great uh, organization that uh, and Carrie Fry who uh, they you know put uh, images on T-shirts to send to us and uh, you can go to the yeticom SDA order T-shirt and a, a good chunk of that money that you spend on it gets sent straight to the charity. Um, 